Syrian opposition leaders are asking Russia to pressure the Assad regime to prevent peace talks from crumbling. While negotiators are meeting in Geneva, the violence in Syria is escalating. Government warplanes pounded a rebel-held town near the Lebanese border Gosh. today. One human rights group says 5,000 people have died in Syria in the three weeks since peace talks began. And that brings us to another story. What to do with all the people who are trying to flee the death and destruction in Syria? Senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcott looks at that question from London tonight. More civilians were evacuated today from the embattled Syrian city of Homs, adding to six and a half million people displaced within Syria and two and a half million refugees in countries nearby. The Syria humanitarian crisis is the defining humanitarian crisis of this century. There are calls refugees should be resettled away from the region. UN aid agency, the UNHCR, is asking Western countries, including the U.S., to take in 30,000 of the most vulnerable. We have welcomed refugees, the, 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 the tiled, tired, huddled masses for centuries. That's been the history of the United States. We should continue to do so. So far, the U.S. hasn't been too welcoming to those caught between rebels and the Assad regime. After three years of fighting, only 109 Syrian refugees have been accepted. The U.S. says $1.7 billion in aid, plus the hope the war would end soon, were reasons for letting refugees stay in the region. Also, there is fear al-Qaeda fighters active in Syria might mix with refugees, threatening the U.S. We have to continue to be vigilant to make sure those coming are not affiliated with the terrorists, but, but we can do that. Washington has now eased immigration restrictions, including some which barred even those with occasional contact with U.S. approved fighters. Thousands of Syrians could come. We are working very quickly now to uh, respond to referrals from UNHCR and to start uh, the process of bringing in refugees. We've learned, though, few will arrive this year, and the vetting process remains so slow it could take two more years to meet the U.S. commitment. With other countries offering to take even fewer refugees, it's not clear yet the U.N. will reach its goals. At the moment, we've got a bleeding wound, and we need to stop the bleeding very, very soon. A humanitarian resolution is being considered by the U.N. Security Council. There is little hope of passage. And Geneva talks to end the fighting in Syria continue to falter as the refugee numbers continue to build. Shannon. Greg, thank you very much.